Finish and Shark, Ace of Vegas here. Hope you're doing well. And I'm at the Paris today, trying to meet up with my friend. Oh, I did meet up with my friends here at the Paris. There's my boy Pat, my girl Elise Game. We're gonna go see another friend of ours, and her name is Gabby. Let's get started. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. All right, guys, here it is. Mon Ami Gabi. So, not a super fancy French restaurant, but it is a French restaurant. It is in the Paris, and this is what we're doing for dinner tonight. So, let's check it out. Okay, we got to get checked in with the clerk over there. So, I'll be right back. Let me go get our reservation, and then we'll roll. Excuse this card out to. What did he say about your camera? Hmm? That guy. Oh, no, I mean, I th he thought I worked here. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> like, can you walk in behind him? Because he's dressed all nice. I know. Like, yeah. Personal tech, uh, Texas. Personal <laughs> Vegas tour. Right? Holy slack. The lighting in here is so bad right now. But uh, we are getting ready for a little bit of Mon Ami Gabi. Hold up. Let me show you all the menu. Here we go. We got the, got the classic hors d'oeuvres and the cocktails and the germane spritz. And the Heinekens and all that. We got all the good stuff. All the good stuff here. Proper entrees and all that. So we are getting ready for this. Lo mon ami Gabi. Cool part is all the steaks are reasonably priced too, so I like that. Yeah, I mean, you have the filet at uh, at 40 bucks. That's a steal, pretty much. You know, I really wish I spoke French so I could uh, use some of these words here. <laughs> There's only one I know. Right. Cream fresh. <laughs> All right, cream fresh. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay that up. Yeah, right? Oi, mate, it's the cream fresh. <laughs> That's for Hopper. Shoutouts to you, Hopper. <laughs> I know, this a There's a lot to it. I like the restaurant, too. It's so, definitely so dark in here though. <laughs> Ambiance is very nice. And it's chill and it's casual, that's kind of the cool part about it. It's still got that kind of French ambiance, but it's casual so you don't have to get uh, like all dressed up or anything like that. So you can just kind of hang out and enjoy yourselves a little bit. I can barely see you guys, but let's still have a wave and a smile. There we go. It, it, a very long time ago. Long it's been time. a while. Welcome back. We Thank are you. a French bistro. How specialty is our filet mignon? More, no better. Mm. I do have tonight fresh oysters, Fanny Bay oysters. There we go. Mm. It's proper French cheese. Good deal. <laughs> Sweet sauce. Oh, yeah. Steak yeah, definitely doing a high Heineken for sure. I'll do. Let's do a course line, please. Course line? Yeah, course line. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to do a glass of your recent best. There we go. That's the same thing. Um, similar. Yeah, we're, we're both Android, so it's the same basically. Alex is a uh, Galaxy Note. Yeah. I'm the Galaxy, just the Galaxy. It's all the same thing, really, yeah. if you think about it. So the Galaxy Note has uh, oh, thank a you. little bit more capability because they have a style. They brought Screwball. Have you tried Screwball? Oh my god, okay. so he's the one that got me hooked on Screwball. Uh, that's my boy Kino Kid, actually. Okay, you gotta tell my wife about it. Okay, let's, right, let's talk about this. So, so my boy Kino Kid, he does a little bit of Vegas vlogging, too. Okay. Um, link to him in the description box, of course. Um, but here's what he did. <laughs> um, Showed up to Fourth uh, of July. Went to go hang out. He had his suite over because he was staying at uh, MGM Grand too, right? Oh, okay. So we went up to go hang out with him too, and he's like, "Bro, you gotta try the screwball over here, right?" It's and I'm like, "Screwball? It's a shot. It's a whiskey." So he uncapped, but it's a peanut butter whiskey, right? It tastes like peanut. Butter. It tastes like a Reese's peanut butter yeah, cup. There you go. Reese's. But it's like all creamy and it's a shot. And it does taste just like. It. It's like. It's That's a whiskey, what? but it's a Reese's peanut butter cup at the same time. I don't know yeah. how else to explain it. It's insane. Okay, we need to figure out what this is. It looks like it looks like tomato, tomato and cheese in there. I think it. Uh, you know, I have no, I have no bleeding idea, but I'm gonna find out. I'll be the guinea pig. I'll tell you what. 
I will test it out. And we have baguette. So we'll try that. That's that. Uh, one of me got be baguette. And we got the butter over here too. <laughs> A moose bush. You were right, it was carrots. Right. Mm. Gotta love the French, always something interesting. Bring it down with that. Alright, go to Moose Bush. Right? Oh, there we go. Man, look at that. That smells good. And then we got the, the hanger steak over here. Lovely. Yeah. With the palm frites right there, we also got, uh, I got Vegas Best Ideas over here on the stream right now watching them. <laughs> there we go. Man, so they got the steak classique. And then the steak uh, pouvier. Uh, Pouva. Uh, Apoi. Uh, it's got peppercorn. Nice. All right. Well, yeah, no more mucking about with the mukbang here. Let's uh, dig in. So far, like in the uh, hanger steak over here, it's got a nice sauce to it. Nice little sauce on it. Very juicy. I even got a medium. I always, I always get a medium just to see what it's like. I mean, mid-rare is probably the best way to get a steak. But I like to get a medium just to see if it's actually a good cut of beef. Because a good cut of beef, you can have medium and it won't matter. It's still juicy, it's still tender. Alright, Of course, you got the plum frites. That's good stuff. How's everyone's steak tasting? Great. Uh, what do you think? How do you, how would you describe it? Uh, 10 out of 10. Oh, nice. All right. We're going hard over here. Why don't we be good eating through? Medium rare is the way to go. All right. <laughs> so what do you think? Mine is excellent. And you got yours mid-rare too, right? Medium rare, yes. It's very good. Not chewy. I don't have to saw through it. Right. Peppercorn gives a nice, good flavor. Yeah, it's pretty tasty. Yeah, very well marinated. I can, I can tell because you, you, you got the one that's uh, got the herb butter, right? Yep. We got the peppercorn over here. Yeah, I think mine's got a mine's got a nice little uh, nice little garlic butter sauce with it too. Good. This has got a little tomato in there too, so it's a little sweet. Thanks for an interesting uh, juxtaposition, but good stuff. No questions asked. I'm just gonna be happy. I'm gonna sleep after this. <laughs> Get some, uh, get some on the meat for sure. It's real well priced for what you get around here too, so I definitely recommend it. All right, there, spinners and sharks. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's tour and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Once again, despite it not being a diamond celebration dinner place, it's not a bad place to be if you're looking at Mon Ami Gabi. The pricing is on par for Vegas, estimate about 40 to 50 bucks a head, and you'll be fine and certainly have a good time. Next time we meet, let's talk about winning you some money so you can actually pay for all this. Until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you all strong hands and, of course, happy spending you guys. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Las Vegas Viva